just finishing up an oil change with Supertech conventional oil from Walmart and this begs the question uh, what kind of oil filter I use and I use a Supertech standard oil filter from Walmart a lot of people are very religious about their oil not only about the oil but also about their oil filter well this one says factory certified so I'm gonna put a new one in I'm gonna take the old one out we're gonna cut it open and see what's inside what's the big fuss about people freaking out that somehow this super tech oil filters are horrible Ignoring the part that I made a mess on the garage floor, in the name of science, here's the filter. So I finally cut the cap off of it with a jigsaw and um, it looks nice and solid as far as this part goes, like it's thick metal, no, they didn't skimp on it, that's for sure. And here's the filter, like it's just a casing for it and this is the filter itself, so now looking at it, um, it's nicely done inside with uh, metal caps so these are metal caps uh, it seems to be well glued together has a seal over here so there is definitely a seal the, the extra pieces of metal that you see is from my jigsaw cutting it I don't see any gaps or any manufacturing manufacturing defects in it it seems to be very very well put together I really, really don't see why would uh, this would not be a good filter. Let's see if we could dissect it a little bit more. Let's see how this cardboard looks like. Okay, so here's the paper part. We got it cut with a drywall knife. It's slowly coming out to open up. I'll tell you one thing, as far as the quality goes, I don't know, man, it's, it's even hard to get into this thing. So it seems to be very, very well glued in because even cutting it with a knife, it's hard to, to cut it open. So. There is a pre-mesh filter over here at the bottom. It's all nicely glued in, as you can see. This is the part that I cut off. This one is still, the glue is like super rock solid, so it holds everything together. And this is the, uh, the filtering material, some kind of like a cardboard. I'm sure it has a million micron um, holes in it. My car has 150,000 miles and still chugging along with absolutely no problem. And the truth is that the car is already falling apart. So it's at the end of his life just because of its outside and other things that will fall off uh, and, and fall out before the, the engine will. So to save yourself your money, buy one of these super tech filters and you could save yourself enough money to buy yourself a nice cool camera like this one in the dashboard. It will really help you in time. I'll make it short. Somebody smashed in the side of my car a while back. It was a teenager. I was in the car, but I was not moving. It was my word against his and here we are today. My car is still not fixed because the insurance didn't want to cover for it. So this brings me to this. Um, this is a um, camera that will allow to record any kind of an incident. I found this one on Amazon. I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the video. Once this camera is installed, the insurance company will not be able to argue with you. It was my word against his with no witnesses and the insurance company decided that each insurance company is going to pay for the other person problem and mine had a thousand dollar deductible. So if you don't want to spend a thousand dollars every time you get a scratch on the side of the car and you want the other company to pay for it, you need video evidence and this will do that. What's in the box? Uh, this is the camera that comes in. This particular kit I really really like because it comes with a front and a rear facing camera. So this is the camera that uh, we're going to put in the window and uh, let's go from there. Let's do a quick installation. Since then I did buy another camera that uh, it's sitting in a dash but this is terrible quality it's very very old it didn't work very very well so today we are going to replace it with something that's going to have a lot better quality. The best place to install it it's behind your rear view mirror so that way it doesn't impede when you're looking outside at all. <sighs> to download the app open your camera my camera can identify uh, websites so I'm gonna click on it and uh, this is the the app itself it's called VF card DAE V360 so install this is the app before you continue remember in the box it comes with a special power adapter you have to use this one 
I've tried to just feed it from the uh, one that I'm charging my phone with, but did not work. As soon as I plugged it into this one, you heard voice commands coming out of the speaker on the camera. So you have to use the one that comes with it. I can use a camera. Once you open up the app, you go to the recorder, click on this little link. It's going to ask you, would you want to look to do this? And then, here's the camera. So the, the default password is 12345678, which you could be changed. And there it is, it's already broadcasting live. Before you choose a location where to place it, have it broadcast live and then move it in the window so that way you will know when you get it right it's actually going to be able to not be blocked by something that you have in the window at that particular point. And here it is, this is the location that I have chosen. Uh, it is a, a camera that you could adjust in time so if you want to adjust it you can uh, later on. Right now uh, you have to do is the cable management. So this is the old cable from my old camera. Uh, this has to come off and this cable has to go in. It's a little bit thick but it's important because uh, it's the only cable that works with it and I'm going to run it under here and through this beam uh, in my dash. It fits right under here with no problem whatsoever and this will connect to the back camera which I haven't put yet in so I'm going to run it all the way to the back. Picking the location for the rear camera is also very very important. Um, I had a gap here in the window, so I, I aligned the, the lens this way, so it's, it's looking at this gap to the window, so you don't see these lines in the video. The best way to figure this one out, first of all, I put it with a double-sided tape, and you could watch your, computer, your, your cell phone screen over there, and it will tell you exactly where the camera is. And we are done. The camera is here. The wiring, I ran all under here. I took this slide off to be able to continue to run it all the way to the camera in the back which is right over there. Uh, let's take it for a test drive and see how it looks like. 